So far we have found out how we get to equations 1, 2, 3 and 4 by just looking at the VT graph. For number 5 uh, we actually can't look directly at the VT graph but we can find it by combining number 1 and number 2. How do we do that? First we take number 1 which is V final is V initial plus A times delta T. We take V final over and divide by A and therefore we know the change in time is uh, final velocity minus initial velocity over acceleration. Equation number 2 was the change in position was one half final, uh, final velocity plus initial velocity which was the average velocity times delta t. Now we put whatever we have here in that delta t therefore we have that the s is one half v final plus v initial times v final minus v initial divided by acceleration. If you multiply that by 2 and by a we get 2a delta s is v final plus v initial times v final minus v initial. If we multiply that out we get v final square minus v final times v initial plus v initial times v final times v initial square. These two cancel each other out therefore we get v final is if we take the v initial over on that side v initial square plus 2a delta s which is exactly our fifth formula.